Welcome back to Revender in Sports and another edition of Bike Profiles. I want to show you a Cipollini Dolomina. I will look at it in a second. Up close and personal, go through the spec, and um, I think you'll I think you'll agree with me that this is one special bike. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at in. The 30,000 foot view is this is a Durace DI2 12 speed bike with Bora wheels on it. And, um, and, and I'm sure some of you will notice that saddle right away. But this is a full Durace build except for the wheels. And this was a bike that uh, the frame was acquired just before or just after lockdown and then all the parts it took a while to source this thing and put it all together so let's start from the front end and on the front end we have the dura shifters and if you're not aware this is a semi wireless setup so in other words the shifters send a wireless signal to the derailers so this part up here is wireless the shifters but then the two derailers are hardwired to a battery and the battery is inside the seat post in this case or I'm sorry yeah seat post generally all right so we've got a data Alanara handlebar so this is an integrated as you can tell integrated bar and stem situation so for building a bike like this, it's a little easier because you don't have the DI2 wires or let's say if you wanted to go mechanical, the only thing you have now is the hydraulic lines running through here. We we had this bike in the shop because what we're trying to do um, is get this bike ready to go to France, but then we realized, hmm, this is going to be very hard to pack in a bike box. So we're going to take something else instead but we've got brand new tires on it so we got some 28 GP5000 clinchers this rider does not want to go tubeless and then we've got the new Durace brakes brake calipers which allow for a little bit more room between the pads and the rotor to eliminate any of that ding 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 stuff that happens once the rotors have heated up and warped a little bit on a descent so um, I've not ridden extensively the new 12 speed servo type brake calipers so I can't attest to that on my own but that's just what they've said and <clears throat> we have a, um, a Durace rotor which now the Durace rotor is basically the XTR rotor from uh, the mountain bike side. And that's, that happens a lot. So there's a lot of trickle down from the mountain bike side over to the road side. Uh, 12 speed was there first and it came over to the road side. These rotors um, are mountain bike style rotors. So the chain, I mean, just a lot of things come over from the mountain bike side. Okay, uh, we couldn't find the bar tape in time. That bike almost fell over. We couldn't find the bar tape in time, so we are going to uh, not swap, uh, swap out the bar tape. We've got some time pedals on here. We've got a Durace um, power meter crank set. So this is a 5034 with a with an 1134 on the back so we got a 3434 for a um, max climbing gear which gives us a one to one ratio of course the durace front derailleur and we have a brand new durace uh, xtr chain 12 speed chain on this group now we we had it in for cleaning and uh, and you know sprucing it up. So the cassette is fine. 
we did not have to replace it. There are a lot of times, and I've got videos about this, where the front, I'm sorry, where the chain is replaced, and then you notice the slippage on the worn cassette, right? So we'll, um, we'll monitor that, but at least for the ride around the parking lot, everything seemed fine. Once the rider gets out and actually uh, put some miles in, we'll, we'll get a better, we'll get better feedback, excuse me, for the noise. We'll get better feedback whether uh, a new chain on the worn cassette is a happy marriage. Okay, we have the Durace rear derailleur. Now, interesting thing because Durace for the longest time did not want to do large cassettes. So they kind of dipped their toe in the water with the 11 speed when they went to an 1130. That was the biggest cassette that you could get with Durace. Now you can actually, on this 12 speed group, you can actually get an 1134 with, you know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six titanium cogs to reduce the weight on it. So this is an 1134. And what I mean by titanium is you could see the color change of this metal from these six to the other six, okay? So yeah, Shima, uh, sorry, Durace being the racers group, they, uh, I mean, I remember a long time ago, it was like an 1127 was the biggest cassette. Then it went to 1128 with uh, 11 speed and then 1130 and now 1134. Because they realized that the pros, let's say you're going to do uh, the Zonkalon or you're going to do, um, I forget what the other one is in Spain. They, they realized that the pros were putting Ultegra cassettes on there. Or they were doing uh, all kinds of mismatched stuff just to get up these 20% grades um, on the 15th day of a tour. So um, now these, this is the, trip, the Cipollini Dolamia, Dolima, something like that. And this is their climbing specific frame and you know the target weight for a climbing frame is typically about 800 grams so they claim this one to be 780 grams size medium this is an extra small so um, i know that there are often a lot of claims <laughs> uh, that don't pan out so let's just call this an 800 gram frame even though it's an extra small and the fork is supposed to be about 370 so that um, is your frame and fork weight and believe it or not these carbon saddles are not actually all that light so this is a full carbon saddle from Sela SMP and um, I don't know why she rides these saddles but I guess she finds them to be comfortable but that is a very quick run of the Cipollini climbing specific bike and uh, we did touch briefly the wheels but we'll do them again um, so these are the the Bora Ultra WTO and um, and these are um, super quiet so if anyone ever wants a free hub sound check you're not going to get much out of them but um, but yeah that is all for today if you like these bike profiles, please like and subscribe. Please make a comment down below what your thoughts are, what you would have done differently. Have you ever seen one of these in real life? All those kinds of things. I look forward to reading your comments. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you up the road.